going on? I'm Alex, and uh, I'm a human being just like you, so I guess we have a lot of stuff in common, right? We, we like like food and clean water and being able to breathe clean air through whichever hole we want to without struggle. And, you know, like, uh, you know, we all like hugging and sex and having somebody take a bunch of peanut butter and just put it around the edges of your... Anyway, we, 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 like, we like different things. We all like, but mainly we like the same things, you know, uh, free, freedom, freedom, sovereignty, very important things. And, uh, and not, not stuff like, like having pharmaceuticals and governments tell us that we have to stick potentially lethal chemicals in our bodies, whether we like it or not. Those things, we don't like those things. All of us probably don't like those things. And it's important to speak up and let people know what we like and what we don't like. Because if we don't, we could be, you know, ending up like China or worse, Australia. So um, so that's why on September 14th, when I heard there was a bunch of humans going to, you know, make a little hoo-ha in Vancouver, I went and I made a little video. I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments. Yeah, they want to scare everybody. They want you uh, basically at home and afraid to go out because you're disempowered. You're too scared to meet people. So separation, that's the game. Separate everyone from everyone. Man from woman, rich from poor, black from white, man, ev ev everyone. So you're so afraid of everyone then you just trust your government and the government says, yes, yeah, stay at home. You don't need your business. We'll just send you some money for food. But then in six months, they say, well, we'll send you the money, but we're going to give you this injection. It's mandatory. Or you want a driver's license? Well, we're going to take away some more of your freedoms. That's how, that's the game. That's the game. Until they have full control. That's what's going on here. It was, yeah, it was how sketchy to, like, to begin with, right? You know, like... It doesn't get more sketchy than this, dude. Yeah doesn't get more sketchy than this. When Indian taxi driver waking up, everybody waking up. Finish. <laughs> Finish, game. Finish. Anyway, we're here at the protest, and uh, holy shit, uh, I'm excited. There's people yelling, and uh, let's, let's, let's see how many people there are that are waking up to the scam, the pandemic, and, uh, and do some interviews. I'm really excited. Let's go. Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about um, a little bit about what's going on in our province right now. So obviously, what are they doing to us right now? They've got a lot of mandatory masks coming here. We got we got Superstore doing it. We got Costco. We got Walmart, Starbucks because it's a very smart virus. It's not coming to Starbucks for another two weeks. <laughs> right? I see my friend Dandix. This whole mandatory mask issue is, is uh, it's getting to be a little out of hand. And obviously we are here to say no to mandatory masks. We don't want them in public. We want to breathe our oxygen. It's our body and it's our choice. Yes? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. An education platform to inform people about information that is we're not getting on mainstream media. Pretty nasty, right? Yeah. It's over. Glad you're here, brother. internationally recognized medical and scientific experts advising that the threat from this year's coronavirus does not justify the measures that have been imposed. Yep. Due to the egregious and persistent violations, citizens' constitutional rights, the BC provincial and municipal governments in their response to COVID-19, we believe it is necessary to take this legal action. So on July 8th, as I mentioned, Bill 19 was passed. They call it the COVID-19 Related Measures Act. 
And with Vaccine Choice Canada, we've decided to come together, but we're going to need your help because this has to be a constitutional challenge. That's the only way to overturn Bill 19. It's a very costly undertaking, and uh, we can't do this on our own. So we're really, we're, re we're, we're reaching out to you today. I think it's time that we take the BC government to court, don't you? Yeah! condition that prevents me from wearing a mask. Yeah. It's called thinking for myself. <laughs> I'm uh, the father of Joshua. Joshua is why I'm here. He was injured by a vaccine shot at five months of age. So I, I, I felt an obligation to tell people what I've learned. I've been trying on social media and uh, lots of friends basically refused to even talk to me. Uh, but I found new friends and, and it... <laughs> I, I like how you just said, I found new friends, fuck it! Well, that's what you have to do, right? You have to face the, the choice, right? I'm gonna stay and lying to myself or I'm gonna face the truth. I'm okay, hey, these are my friends, but they are deep asleep. I want to have a choice and I have my I want my children to have a choice We got this shit. Our freedom is our birthright. It's not something that is given to us by governments. And we have to protect it. And that's what we're here for.
people take back the power. We, the people, take back the power. Was we saw what was happening in Berlin, we saw what was happening in Montreal, and then it grew to Poland, and then Italy, and Greece, and Toronto, and Ottawa, and we're like, we got to do this here. And of course, you know, we're seeing the tyranny happening in Australia. This is going to come here if we don't do something soon. In conclusion, humanity is waking up. We're gonna make it. One little thing I like to remind myself of, otherwise I'll go crazy, is that it's important for me to really stay in my heart and stay in the compassion for all beings when I'm talking to people, especially if they're people that are, you know, they're still wearing their masks and they're still in the fear and they don't really have the information. You know, they're you, they're me. And it's the ego that wants to be like, oh, you need to wake up. You need to read this, take off your slave mask. Like, like I totally am sometimes in those places. And uh, it's a real practice to just trust that every being is on their own unique journey of awakening. And they'll get there when, when they get there. And my practice is just to love them no matter where they're at and trust. Trust in the plan. Everything will be okay. So, uh, so that's my conclusion. Love everybody, including yourselves, because we're all one. Woo! And, uh, and that's it. Thanks for being here and uh, know that you're loved. And please support the, uh, the real independent news, the actual media that's out there. Shout out to uh, Rebel News. They were there. Shout out to Dan Dix for doing good work. Shout out to Luke, Luke Rudkowski at uh, wearechange.org. And, uh, and yeah, I'll put all the links that are important in the description below. And for those of you that are interested in the more uh, spiritual aspects of the awakening, do check the links because I have a spiritual podcast. You might like it. See you on the flip side, beautiful humans.